And he said, May you, O God, burn away any, imp any impurities that I may have in your personality so that I can be a shiny personality in society. You can only be able to make society better if you are the best. Or you are better than good. Good, better, best. But you cannot be good and expect to give the good. You gotta be above that level. And always try. That's what we do when we do our home. It's a born with impurity, so I can be a shining personality in society, so that I can give, I can be better. I am shiny, I am radiant. Om Surya Chandra Masa Viva Punadadarata Janata. Just like the sun. Surya Chandrama, just like take their traits, take their characteristics, take their personality. They do not have personality, but we have personality. But take, ex exhibit at least one trait, one character of the sun. And that is to shine, regardless of who or what or what, regardless of the circumstance. Do not let it get to you. Be who you are. And the only way you can be that way is because you're better. Not just good, you're better. Or you're the best. Because you're shiny. Just to be at the good. Offer yourself and let it blaze. You do not go to Hawan and you do not see the fire blaze. It is not a Hawan. It is not an Agni And this man there, I tell you, and the man there in Florida, they are having issues they perform it way out because they are renting a hall. And in that hall, there's five restrictions. And they have a very tiny, in a simple way, like a little thing, and barely try to make something happen. This is that thing. When I see, when I walk in this yard, and when I see this wood for barn, it makes, it brings joy. Because you know you're going to have a great idea. And every Sunday when I come here, and I see this, that they could blaze in. That's what Agnihut is all about. And what that reminds us, my, my friend, within us, within the heart, within each and every one of us, swap the self, aha, express yourself, be who you are, be that great person, Sugandhi, Kulo, like a flower. Listen, you will go to a flower garden, and you see all kinds of flowers. But guess what? When you walk out of there, another example I can use is probably a fragrance store, maybe, where they sell perfumes, fragrances. You may not buy anything, but when you come out, you come out smelling sweet. But if you, that's what we need to become. That fragrance store, that fragrance flower of excellence. That regardless whether someone like you or not, you have left that sin of great, and that's what the great Maharishi Diana has done. And today, my message to you, as you have read and you've heard, is back to our roots. And I'm very dismayed that I do not see what many more youths here today. And I think we have a lot of work more to do. I'm very proud when I came in this morning and I saw all the construction going on over there, because I know we have a great, we have planted our roots in a little barn, in a, on Harmony Grove. And over many years, and again, in a few more months, this year hopefully, we're going to have that building up and we're going to be the pride and joy. But we are our youths today. And also what this may be this morning, at 10.30, there's only five people in this temple. The sun, if the sun behaved like that, there will be, no, be no existence. No existence. Brahma Muhurt, the great Maharishi Dayan says that, when, study his history, study his autobiography. When did he get up? Three o'clock in the morning. Perform Sandhya. Does all his illusions, everything else. Then he's ready to take on the challenges. My friends, do not. And parents, and there's not a lot of parents here either. But yet I will say, and Vishnu and others who are here share it. We gotta come out. What what is missing? Is there something missing? If there is, then talk to our executives. That's that's how organization grows. When the executives hear what is not working, what is holding us back from progressing, then they will work on getting it fixed. 
Is there a problem or is there an issue? I have not, let me just make my point and I continue that is, I'm very surprised. Because I remember last Wednesday coming, this hall was almost three quarters full. And today it's like a lot missing. So anything I can do to help please and as they reach out to me, I can do whatever I can. But we, as a Samaj, we have a lot of work to do and indeed this tell me, we still have a whole lot more to do. So going to the Satya Prakash, just the beginning of the Satya Prakash, thank you Nilesh for your message today, bringing up the end of uh, chapter 8. We'll continue 9 next. But I'm going right back to the introduction, Bhumika, the very beginning of the Satya Prakash. And this is what Swami is reminding us. Mahatirahe Mahatirahe Mahamega Sansar Adi Husejus Dharma Ko Wahi Dharma Ka Saar Guru Var Dayanand Ki Jai Chaupani from Satyavakash Wahi Dharma Hai Nitya Sanatana Very important words. Ek matra 
There was only one, ek, one. Ek matra vaidik dharam pehle ta jagma Mahabharat pariyakont anya dharam prana He says that in the beginning, ek vaidik, ek matra vaidik dharam, there was one religion in the world. And what was it? Vaidik, satya samadhi. And that Anya Dharma Thana, there was no other religion. Mahabharat, Parajan to come. Not only after the Mahabharat. So let us just spend just a couple of minutes on that. He's saying that there was no religion until or prior to the Mahabharat. And all of us know that the Mahabharat took place when? Any child, not adult. When? Mahabharat, what took place when? Don't give an exact date, roughly, how many thousand years? I see all the thousands normally. Yes. Five thousand. But thank you, that's exactly. So five thousand, forget about the exact date. But at least five thousand years ago. After that came the next religion we can basically re from recorded history. It's at least two thousand plus that comes forward. So this is what we're talking about. This is what the Maharishi is reminding us of, of our roots, my friend. And that's why I said when, when Vishwat asked me, and he said, uh, 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 Dr. G, what uh, topic are you going to talk about? And I said, our roots, or back to our roots, whichever way you want to look at it. And so, let's delve into that some more. Vedas. 
refer to the feelings. We all know what the book, what the videos are all about. It's the first set of knowledge. It's the first, it's the root of all knowledge to begin with. Every single thing that we have going on right now, and uh, Vishu is a computer guy, and I'm sure you study and go back, and with Sanskrit and everything, is in, uh, this great uh, treatise that Dr. Chaturvedi uh, uh, just brought out, this is in there also, the mother of all languages is the Sanskrit. The Ved has all the branches of knowledge with it. He says that the root Vedic, Vedas, Vedic Satya. Satya meaning is true, not it's true today, but tomorrow we'll figure out what we're going to do. Always true. The root Satya, eternal truth. What kind of truth? Sanatana. Vedic Satya Sanatana. Sanatana meaning eternal, beginningless, and endless has no beginning, has always been there, eternity. Eternal is not a word. If I can ask and then the last word is dharma. Vedic Satya Sanatana Dharma. If I can ask our children to give me, when you hear the word dharma, what comes to mind? Give me a, uh, what, what do you think it is? Culture. Culture, good. Dharma. Religion, yes. Any other you come back? Dharma. Righteousness, good. Any other? I'll take two more. Dharma, when you hear what dharma? Culture, religion, righteousness. What else? How you're supposed to do things. See? How you're supposed to do things. How you're supposed to do things, good. Very good. One more. Another child. Young one? Or adult, it's fine. Culture, religion. Righteousness, how are you supposed to do things? One word. Beliefs. Beliefs. Good. And look, and if you go, if you Google this word dharma, you go so many different things. But let me tell you, Dave, and this, that's the, the reason why, the reason why you come with a lot of things. And look, this, this page, you can see it. All this little word here is how, when you Google it, you'll find it. And it continues more and more. The reason why, because it's hard to translate the word dharma in English. But my friends, dharma comes from a Sanskrit root. Dhri. D-H-R-I for, for the English, our English the translation, transliteration. Dhri. Dhri means that which holds you together, that which binds you, that which sustains you. Dhri. Dharma. Look, every one of us have a dharma. Everything in nature has a dharma. The plant has a dharma. What is the, what is the dharma of a, of a rose? It is to grow and to produce beautiful looking rose. What is the dharma of anything? Just name it. And what the attribute it's supposed to, that's what human beings, people, has a dharma. What is that? It is supposed to be that wonderful, beautiful, person, love, give. And let me just share with you, Dharma, at this point to what I came across, some of them says that Dharma is harmony, the way, righteousness, I heard that earlier, compassion, natural law, essential nature, morality, truth, teachings, tradition, philosophy, order, flow, spirituality, religion, wisdom, insight, divine conformity, Cosmic notion, blueprint, inherent nature, intrinsic nature, law, being, duty, and it goes on and on and on. But children, parents, as we are now in 2013, and the years go by, I'm sure last month, January, when the year turned, I'm sure none of us, but many of us probably made resolutions what our next steps are, and that's what led me to the third last month is when I decided I'm going to go back to the roots and start working with our youths, working with our children, reminding them of this great, valuable, precious gem that they belong to. And one of the great things of Dharma 
is that you do not have to go, there's, there's no such word as convert. Every single body has been harm. But inviting such a sanat and harm, if it is grounded and rooted in the base of truth, satya, then guess what? That's what it's Hindu, Hinduism has a certain ethos, it has a certain geographical connotation because it belongs to a certain place that after invaders, etc. And we can share with you this uh, Dr. Frank Morales says that the term Hindu is said to have referred to the culture of the people on the other side of the Sindhu River. Although the terms Hindu and Hinduism were created by foreign invaders, sometimes using them as a derogatory term, the indigenous people, they co-opted these terms mostly as a collective or umbrella term to describe themselves in a various form of living. But he went on to say that the original term predating, predating these by thousands of years was Satya Dharma. Sanatan Dharma. A profound term that is rich with beauty and inherent wisdom. Dr. Frank Morales. Satya Sanatan Vaidya Dharma. Inherent. Profound term that is rich with beauty and inherent wisdom. Out of that Satya Sanatan Dharma emerged modern Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, etc., while significantly affecting many other religions or other traditions, which also followed much later. And he went on to say that the underlying reality referred to my friends by the term Sanatan Dharma is actually eternal, and thus is beyond any reference to the first music of the Torah. And so, if you study it, you come across that many of the great researchers who have studied this, they will tell you, there's only to the integrate Sir Isaac Newton, all the great scientists, they have their philosophy and they have their beliefs grounded in one thing and one thing only, that is the Vedas. The fount of all true knowledge and the great Mahayashi Dhyana is exactly what he told us. The Vedas is the fount of all true knowledge, of everything else. And so, as he said in one of those Chapaya chant, he says that until 5,000 years ago, people performed righteous actions because they were mainly inspired by God's knowledge. Both kings and the people were happy. And I want to take you just for a, a few minutes to, and there are many uh, Chaupai, I'll skip a few just to, this is from Uttarakhand of the Sri Ram Chitmanas. I'm sure we've all heard of the Sri Ram Chitmanas. Yes? The Ramayana? In the Uttarakhand, there's a portion where we talk, they talk about Ram, Goswami Gosidas discussed Ram Raja, meaning Ram's rulership. And that's what I want to take you back to remind you that to, when, go, when uh, our great Maharishi said to us that this religion we belong to, Vaitik Satyasanath and Harni, was a great religion, people lived lovingly and everything was good. This is what he's referring to. I skipped a few, but I want to share with you one of them that really stands out from the Sri Ramchitra Manas, Chopal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, <laughs> 
jati kuli jan ki lena. That give up. The only way to make our society whole again after the Hawaii war is that we need to give up our narrow views. And we need to jati kuli jan ki lena. Jan ki lena. He says that start deep study on our beliefs and practices. And which is exactly what 25 plus years of, of work on this magnanimous uh, uh, product, as we can see throughout this Monday today, Vedic Satsang. And it says clearly, uh, Dr. Chandra says in there, billions of years of stuff, but put into less than one million words. But that's what we're talking about. That's Yanukuli. It's when you take the time. When I say take, that doesn't mean you have to put aside everything else. Like he said, 25 years. That's perfectly fine. There's a great mantra in the Veda that says, Dive, Dive. Dive, Dive, day in, day out. My friends, do not wait until you get certain things or certain amount of things before you want to do something. It's day in, day out. Every single day, little by little. Rome was not built in a day. Right? Little by little. That's how it happened. That's Dr. Chandora. He will tell you, how did this book happen? It didn't happen. Oh well, I'm gonna one month I'm gonna get it done. Or next week we'll get it done. It's years and years and years. Similarly, Swami is saying, he's saying that deep study your beliefs and practices. Open your eyes, John Kule. John Kim Naina. Tiaga Santa Santa Ko Sui Kari. Accept what is valid. But most importantly, and this is where the problem is, Tia Asat. That's the problem. It's when we are afraid to tell someone that what you're doing is wrong. And that's why he got into trouble. 14 times. On the 14th time, that's when he died. The other 13 was because of things he tell people, what you do is wrong. What you do is not right. Tiagasat. But asat. Tiagasat. Sat. Ko swikar. Accept. Kareke swikar prabhu. Mira git amar karilu. Let the love. That your friend, that God gave you, which is what He did. But when you see things that are not right, pakhan, hypocrisy, issues, doesn't make sense, ignorance, He said. And that's what our society is lacking today. Today, we go with the flow, because at the end of the day, we need to get some benefit of the flow. That's not what Swami comes about. And the last one says, Apuna Mahamushi. Janama Sudhari, and he says that, thus, my friend, Manush Apana Janama Sudhari, this is the only way, this is the solution, only way to reform your life. So, my friends, I want to thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity, as always, when I come to this temple, to share my message with you, and I do hope that. It will gently help us open our eyes, build our strength, move forward. I'll share with you one verse of a powerful poem about the great Maharishi Swami And let us uh, put this into practice. And I, I'm telling you, if you do this, our great Atlanta Bay Temple in Harmony Grove, Little Born Atlanta, will be a powerful society. Push the way to Because Vishidayanam, he was an expert gardener. 
all of us, my friends, we have the tools, we have the implements, we have everything, but you got to be that gardener. What are we sowing? What seed? I spoke to a, a, a family yesterday, we were talking about the child in order to play bhula. I said, if the child is not in order to play bhula, first of all, you'll want the child to go to places where the other children are doing the same thing. But guess what? The child is always at home, doesn't go to satsang, etc., etc. He said, you will find it a train. I said, well, well why? What's, what, what's the issue? He said, I would love, this is a grandfather I'm talking to. I would love to take and I was ask, let's go to Mandir. But the mother said to me that, well, there's only one lady that has to sleep in it. My, my friends, mm -mm. parents in this audience today, it is your duty. Dharma, one of the many meanings. I mean, we went through a list of them uh, um, here. We went through a list of them. Duty is one of that. Okay. Is to, your duty is your duty, my, 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 my friends, to wake up that child. Because guess what, when they grow older, they will look back and say, well, that or mom, you, why are you pushing me now? But guess what, they won't, when does it, when does the flower go towards the sunshine? It's when you pull it away, when it's away from the, the dark, it's in the darkness, it wants to go, it wants to go. But you are the catalyst, the parents, to make it happen. And this great Atlanta Vayner <coughs> is the catalyst to make Samaj, and I'm ready, willing, and able. Anything I can do. Bishop, Dr. G, Dr. G, all of you, all the board of directors, anything I can do to help. You know, I'm here for you. I want this place to be that shining sun, Surya, Kigan, of knowledge for our entire group at home.